Hi, all right. Did anyone just come in that did not see the previous lightning demo? Anyone? Okay, one, don't worry, we'll cover it. Uh, you can also go back and watch, Oli has given that talk a bajillion times in a bunch of different formats, so you can always go and watch online somewhere. Um, I'm kind of doing a deep dive on a very specific scenario that she did not demo with the Upgrade Assistant, upgrading your Xamarin app to .NET MAUI. So, if you don't know what .NET MAUI is, I don't have too many slides, but I didn't want to show the exact same demo, so I have a couple slides, it's helpful. Um, it is generally available. Available. We GA'd it at build last year, so we are now a year old, which is very exciting. Happy birthday to us. Um, and it is a single project system, single code base, all of the things you need to target Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS from a single code base. Um, if you have a Xamarin app or a Xamarin Forms app, it is really the evolution of Xamarin and Xamarin Forms as kind of we've become part of .NET. We changed some things that were long time, um, you know, complaints or feedback from Xamarin developers, and we've, we've improved them a lot. So it is definitely worth upgrading, evaluating whether or not, um, you know, it's going to give you something. Some of the reasons we've seen people upgrade, there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff. It is not a replacement, it is an evolution. You do not have to rewrite your app. I think I have that on the slide later. It's like the biggest FAQ. But what we did under the hood was we took the platform controls, we decoupled them from all the cross-platform stuff we were doing. So you can actually extend them yourself. You can do, you can rip out the platform-specific renders we gave you in Xamarin. Um, you can put your own drawn UI controls. You can use third-party packages. You can do them in different app models if you wanted to do like a model view update style app instead of MVVM with XAML. Uh, better desktop support. So we added Mac as an official platform and we moved from UWP to WinUI. There's a better app building pattern. There is a single project instead of multiple projects. Unified with that, blah, blah, blah. I can go into this forever. Um, my favorite thing, though, is it's fast. So the app startup, faster. Look at that. And that's just the file new app. So if you take that um, and extrapolate it to a much larger app, that means you get even more performance gains, which is pretty good. So. Definitely worth it. Um, I do not have the support slide in this presentation, but if you are interested in learning more about the support timeline for Xamarin, we do have a slide on it in the Thursday session, all things client with mobile desktop, .NET, MAUI, something or other. Um, TLDR of Xamarin is gonna go end of life in May 2024. That does not mean that you cannot use it. It just means we are not going to support it anymore. We are not going to give it the latest iOS and Androids. So you want to get onto Maui by next summer if you think you're going to be actively pushing updates to your app. So FAQs about upgrading. It is not a rewrite. The first six months since we announced Maui, I think every time we got on the phone with a customer, it was, oh my gosh, why are you expecting me to rewrite your app? You don't have to rewrite it. The XAML is the exact same XAML flavor. Some APIs, we changed. That happens. We got rid of some of the obsoleted code that's been hanging out in Xamarin for a while. Other than that, um, it's not a rewrite. There are some changes. We'll talk about it. What happens to Xamarin Android or Xamarin iOS? We are just calling them .NET for Android and .NET for iOS, right? So people who are not Xamarin Forms users have been freaking out. You killed Xamarin Android. No, it's just .NET for Android. It's, it's all good. Everything's going to be great. You can also upgrade those projects. It's actually even less work than trying to upgrade into Maui. Um, and then, when should you start trying to upgrade? I, our suggestion is do an evaluation of your app, see where you're at. If you're going to be pushing updates, if you need latest operating system support, you're gonna wanna do it sooner rather than later. If it's just an app that's been there and you don't really need to worry about it and it's probably gonna fade into the oblivion in a few years anyways, don't worry about it. But I would say get up to date, make sure that you're running on some of the relatively newer Xamarin, Xamarin Forms builds, um, and start evaluating what you're up to and what you're gonna have to do to upgrade. Bunch of different things that you can do. Um, you can have your summer intern, now that it's we're coming into the summer, go through and start cranking through these for you. Uh, remove unnecessary custom renderers. So how many of you um, have a Xamarin Forms app? Okay, good. And how many of you have had a Xamarin Forms app since Xamarin Forms came out? Yeah, well, I know you did. <laughs> um, so it's changed a lot. We've added a lot of features. And so a lot of the things that you had to do custom and by hand in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2020, 
you don't have to do anymore. We just have them in the box. So that's the number one tip I have for people is just go in and see what we shipped that you worked around back in the day that as we mature as a product, you don't need to do anymore. Um, couple other tips on here. The other big one to call out is um, inventory your NuGet packages. So Olya mentioned the same thing. If you have packages that are not going to be supported with the latest .NETs, you either want to move off of those or be ready to um, you know, fork your own version of them and update it yourself. So lots of options. The other thing I say is do not just like stop working on your app and neglect it because you're like, we're going to migrate it anyways. I just don't need to work on it. That's also not a good idea. I should also really put on this slide, do use Git or something, but it's fine. So packages, um, non-UI specific packages will just work except for ones that are specifically hitting some Xamarin iOS related stuff. We changed like one thing and they just have to be recompiled. That's all it is, it's all at build time. Where the, um, the interesting stuff happens with Maui libraries is UI components the namespace has changed, right? We went from Xamarin Forms to Microsoft.Maui. So they have to do that and make sure that uh, their layouts still look the same. Most of the major controls we see, we you know, have a huge list of NuGets that people use regularly. Most of those are updated now. This time last year, it was a very different story. Even at .NET Conf in November, it was a very, very different story. Um, now libraries are not the biggest blocker to migration anymore, which is great. So. It often was, it still can be, depending on what packages you're using, but um, it's pretty good, pretty good. So let's take a look at how you would do this with a Xamarin app. I'm gonna let my screen do all of its things. Okay, so I'm not gonna demo this with a real app because for simplicity's sake, first of all, I know that every single person in this room, your app is architected in a different way. So trying to show you an example app is not going to be helpful because everything about upgrading your app is based on your code base, your patterns, how you want to do it, your, your skill set, your expertise, all those things. So this is just a file new flyout app. You can see it's a Xamarin app, so it's got my .NET standard project, and then it's got my Android and iOS head projects, we call them. And so if you hear me say head project, that's what I mean. These are the head projects or the platform specific projects. Um, and so there's a whole bunch of different ways for right off the bat that you can do your Maui migration. We have seen people just migrate everything in place, right? Upgrade each project, upgrade the Android project to .NET 7 iOS project, and then upgrade the Xamarin Forms project to Maui. We've seen people start a new project and copy paste it over. It's really flexible. If you want to use the single project architecture, um, which is the new Maui thing that you don't have to have head projects anymore. We think right now the best way to do it would probably be to create a new Maui project and start moving things over. So I'll show you how to do that with the upgrade assistant because it is very nice. So right click upgrade. Um, I don't know if Olia showed, I stepped out from it for to say some hi to someone in the hallway, of course, right as she started. Um, there's just an extension, the .NET upgrade assistant extension. You search it, you download it. And then in all your projects, you will have right click upgrade. So uh, my recommendation, if you are going to upgrade in place, is to start with the head projects, get those ready to roll, and then do the Xamarin Forms project last. That just keeps Visual Studio the least angry with you. That's, yeah, as only it knows. And then <laughs> if you wanna go into the single project architecture, I actually like starting with the Maui project and moving the platform specific stuff later. So up here, I'll do side by side. And I can actually create a new Maui project here. Currently, this creates a library project, which we want to fix at some point. Um, we will do this soon. And because it's an extension, the updates ship a lot more frequently than the Visual Studio updates, just FYI. So I'll create my new project, target what I wanted to, do down at seven. Um, and then I can check which of my, Mau of my Xamarin Forms project I want to upgrade into that Maui app. So I'll keep it all checked. Um, what this is going to do is go in and look at all my namespaces, look at my CS proj, look at my NuGet packages. It's going to take Xamarin Forms out and make it Microsoft.Maui. It's going to take Xamarin Essentials out and make it Microsoft.Maui because it is built into Maui now. Um, it's going to go in and update namespaces here. My view model stuff, my view stuff, all these things. Scroll down. Where is what I'm looking for? And it's going to add. Uh, the entry point to my app, MauiProgram.cs. So, oh, Siri, I was not talking to you. 
time is it? Oh, good, I have plenty of time left. Okay, so this is a, now a single project Maui app that I have created. It does not have the platforms folder, so that's one thing we, you can do is you can actually create a blank Maui project, get it set up, and then migrate into it if you'd prefer to not just have Upgrade Assistant make the new project for you. Um, but then what you can do is take these and either upgrade them in place or start copy pasting things over into that new project. So I'll do upgrade um, side by side existing, right? Actually, huh, I change my mind every time I do it. I haven't decided the best way. But we'll go in here. Same thing. Oh, this is gonna overwrite the project file, no. What I will do with the uh, Android and iOS ones is I upgrade them in place first. Upgrade, hold on, go away, go away. Upgrade. Um, I'll upgrade this to .NET 7 next. Upgrade the whole thing. And then what's nice is I don't actually need most of this stuff anymore. So I could just leave this um, as a separate Android project that is now my um, Maui app depends on it. But I could also create a platforms folder here and just copy paste the necessary files in from Android to the Maui project if I want to use single project. So those are all options. Um, and again, it's really flexible. And the reason I'm showing you all the different ways you can do it is because I know everybody's app is different. So if, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do. We're also continually working on this. It just released the Maui support a couple weeks ago, a month ago now, right around when MVP Summit was. So, um, you know, we still have a plenty of ways to go. But the good news is it does a lot of this copy, paste, control, find, replace things for you which is very good. Um, it also will look at your NuGet packages and make sure that those things get moved over as appropriate. So those are the tools you need. Um, we have, okay, two and a half minutes left, which is good because I wanted to leave time for questions. First, I want to put up this slide. So it's the marketplace for oh, the upgrade assistant. If you were on a Mac, you can use the command line upgrade assistant tool. We don't have anything in Visual Studio for Mac right now, just because this was a Visual Studio for Windows extension, and that's where it started. Um, we are evaluating whether putting it to, on Mac might be useful, but for now the command line will have what you want, and as Olya demoed, the command line is getting up to date with the latest migration stuff that I showed. And then we also made this mailing list that goes to just the PMs on the Maui team called Maui-Upgrades. And what we would love for you to share with us is, you know, your stories, your trials, your tribulations, any major questions, blockers. Um, keep the hate notes to a minimum. Thank you. Like, gen just try to be nice. You can at least put an exclamation point. I don't know. Um, but we're really eager to hear about what's going on. The more we've gotten to talk to customers who have successfully migrated or in, kind of in the throes of migrating, the more we've realized just how different everybody's apps are and we're trying to kind of create these patterns so we can have the tool do more um, consistent things across all the different projects. 